So listen, Colt, you wasn't here. I had a big spiel. Okay, I want y'all to listen to this okay. list. Right. Listen, listen up. You had everybody's going through layoffs, but but Sony had nine hundred laid off this year, right? During this console generation, you had Pixel Opus close, Japan Studios close, London Studios, and the PlayStation back deviation games, right? They canceled Factions 2, Twisted Metal, the Spider-Man Online game. Sean Layden just came out in the interviewing saying, if you're making $200 million games, exclusivity is your Achilles heel. We still haven't seen any Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sales numbers. Foam Stars wasn't foaming. That's a flop. <laughs> Rise of the Ronin uh, launching the same day as Dragon Dogs was 2. We all know what that's going to look like. And the previews aren't looking too hot. Super spit shiny, yeah. No. And then they increased the PlayStation Plus prices and you get almost zero, not almost, you get zero benefit additional with that. Um, you get no support for your PSVR 2. That's actually coming to PC. The portal was the portal. Like, <laughs> enough said. Enough said. Uh, no did first say, party did you games. Say factions? I said factions. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, no first party games until April 2025. Ooh, Mighty Keith's not gonna no 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 Mighty Keith's not gonna agree with that. He said oh, they I, got Astrobot coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that guy. I like him. He's wrong though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not Hiroki like Totoki's like uh um, nothing. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Um, oh god, it's Spider Man, yeah. Yes. And, and they're like Oh, that, that, we are actually canceling that spider-man thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nuts and then and then and then, don't not to mention the the leaks from insomniac we got to see what those license those licensing deals look like but yet when peter moore talks like and i love the peter moore i love peter moore right he they had a little interview with him he's been out of the business since what 2007 for xbox but yet when he says you know windows i mean microsoft might be looking to shut down the console business that is what everybody's talking about not not like i haven't seen an, an article is like hey all the things i just listed playstation might be in trouble haven't seen that article yet but yet when it comes to xbox they this might be the last console even though sarah bond stated they're already working on new hardware all like listen if, if i gave you that list and it was xbox would people not have a field day with that shit? It'd be they everywhere. have had a field day in the past <laughs> in the past all right. the time right <laughs> <laughs> all the time so i'm a i'm a i just gave you all the list yet the 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 sentiment out there within the media is Xbox is in trouble. And I didn't even mention the 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 last quarterly reports with the 6% ROI being cr that's low and they lost $10 billion pretty much basically off of that. Stock price plummeted at that point. But I'm going to start with you, Nova. Why, why, why so much focus on Xbox when I all this is I happening with PlayStation? Yeah, I wish I had the answer for you, to be honest, because it does seem like when there's some type of like negative news, the Xbox news does seem to carry a bit further. And when there's some PlayStation news that's that's pretty crazy and, and there's seemingly smoke, nobody goes to check and see if there's any fire. You know, they may like talk about it real quick, you know, sans the details, you know, just put it out there just so they can say they looked at it. Or talked about it, but I don't even know why this is happening, man. I wish I could tell you. Yeah. Um, it's just it seems just so wild to me. And like and people really deny like an Xbox tax, but Blue, I'll go to you next. What's happening here? And, yeah, I, and so I know and I know we all talk about this all the time, right? Whenever like little news drops, but like this list is crazy that I put together for PlayStation uh -huh. for this this generation alone. And it's crickets out here. Yeah. 
it is. Go ahead. Um, you know the way I think about it. If you work with someone who is really good at their job and they're always meeting their deadlines, they're putting out good product, right? When they have a bad day, you don't think twice about it, right? right? But when you work with somebody who's late, who <laughs> whose work product doesn't always come in at the, you know, as good as it has been requested or constantly has all of these little things that just fatigue you. The next thing is always like, oh, geez, of course. Right. Like, of course yeah. it is. Of course it is. Right. So I think Sony has been in the golden era of they they were doing everything right for so long. Right. It was easy to not worry ever about the next thing. Right. But, and so now it's kind of like, well, yeah, they're, they're kind of missing a step, but they've been so good. I'm sure, you know, in the next, whatever, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be great. Right. And on the Xbox side, it's man, these guys can't get anything right. And then here we are again. And then this game failed or this did that. Right. And it's, mm -hmm. and it's to the point where it's probably, a little bit nitpicky right? right on the xbox side you can call it way nitpicky if you want an xbox tax and all that stuff right but it's fatigue because they're the employee that kind of showed up late with the games some of the games didn't hit quite right, right? <laughs> you know mm -hmm. like there there's just a lot of that whereas sony set themselves up to be so far ahead did everything right now they're struggling and people are giving them a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt because their track record was so good that's how i look at it okay so now that's the to me that's okay for consumers right right to kind of do that but as a game journalist one that's Sorry. supposed to you know f fact finding and, and all this stuff right like should they be the ones also doing what because they're consumers too at the end of the day but when you're when you're in journalist mode you're supposed to give your flowers where flowers are due and you know criticize when criticism when criticism is due right like and i just don't see them doing that at all right with playstation they stick to the facts it was like D playstation back dva games closed down and then that's it like we said our piece. They 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 released it at eleven thirty at night, so nobody can see. That. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. do you remember yeah. when the Toys for Bob thing? When people thought they shut down Toys Lord, for Bob? Lord, yes. <laughs> and then it yeah. didn't even shut them down, right? They just yeah, went they their just own way, go. right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That was just a minute down. ago, and that was a very yeah. smart move for them, by the way, because the FTC it wouldn't was. use that as fuel, uh, closing down a studio uh, that they just acquired um but yeah but yeah really good points though blue um scale what about you man i honestly don't understand it's yeah i'm not gonna lie blue made a really good point is like with the, with your co-worker type of this all right man he's been doing good for a while man you know <laughs> some slacks, <laughs> you know, some some slack, you know? <laughs> i think and then when you got someone who's messing up all the time it's like bruh of course the course yeah. is trash. Like, ah, <laughs> tired. So I don't know why that that's she makes a really good point with that. And I, I kind of I other than something like that, I don't get it, to be honest. Uh, other than the first thing popping in my head is this on some hate and shit. I don't understand otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the the journalism thing. It's like either I, I, it seems like they're getting paid. <laughs> you know what I mean? It seems like they're just getting paid to put out the info that the people paying them want them to put out you know what i mean so i don't know why this is happening um as a gamer i'm happy for xbox thank you for giving me the games <laughs> it's like I, I don't i don't i don't know why they're always being hit like this it's, i think it like like she said i think it's just a good co-worker bad co-worker thing ps4 was hot man <laughs> ps4 yeah. ps4 was hot xbox yeah. one was rough <laughs> Uh, okay it's been recovering ever since but yeah i think uh go with her i agree with her on that point okay yeah she made some good points man um Cole, what what do you say good sir uh well it's kind of hard to hard to hear 
I guess. Uh, Xbox has not consistently put out great must-have games over the past 10 years. PlayStation has. And then right now, Deviation Studios shutting down didn't get much fanfare because PlayStation has the first half of this year completely stacked with games that people want. And Xbox doesn't. Xbox is going to go eight months before I'm Forza Motorsport to Hellblade. So mm-hmm. it's a big difference where PlayStation has had maybe three different years where they've been sporadic or they've been light on content, but they've been money hatting games, stuff that people said that they didn't like that Xbox does. So they've got great games for the whole first quarter of 2024. And then I don't know if they have much for the rest of the year, but I don't think their next big thing comes out until next big, big thing comes out till next spring. Right. You know, I don't think Concord's coming out this year and I don't think it's really big either. So yeah, we haven't even yeah, seen a trailer for it yet at all. We haven't. I mean, it's possible I mean, they could the show CGI gameplay trailer. and say this is coming out in the, in the fall or holiday 2024, maybe, which would yeah. be cool. But that's why that's why Xbox gets wood toys for Bob. Like they don't get the benefit of the doubt because they've been so sketchy with their consistency for so long. Yeah. When I go back to, um, if you're, if you're thinking 10 years, it's 2014 when they were getting ready to put out halo five and they just didn't have a lot of big things other than halo gears and Forza. So they're going to finally be able to do that. They're supposed to have eight to 10 games this year, but it doesn't start till May. So I think that's why there's been a lot of bad news for PlayStation. Right now, it's it's all being evaluated by the games media and by the mass of fans on social media and forums. Right now, they're like, what's going on with PlayStation? Instead of saying, oh, it, it, that's Xbox. They, they messed up. They always mess up. Because that's the attitude. Right. And that's how it's been for a while. Xbox yeah. has done great things, actually forged a path of where the future's going and consumer choice, consumer driven choice and things like that. But those games got to hit. Hellblade better be really good. It can't be an 82 yeah. Metacritic game. It's got to be really, really good. And Avowed, Avowed has to be like an underdog smash hit. It has to be really, really good because this will continue the Xbox tax, which I still don't fully believe is a real thing. Uh, in full, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. That's what that's why we're here, man, to, to kind of talk about it. Um, well, I have we, said the Xbox tax exists as far as Xbox has earned the tax, mm-hmm. and that okay. because the things that they've done have earned them that part of the tax. But I don't. I'm not convinced that a game gets a lower score because it's an Xbox game but I've yeah. definitely seen it not be paraded or or believed in as PlayStation games do or even PlayStation supported or or money had a games like you look at Stellar Blade and everyone's automatically even me oh it's probably going to be really good why oh cuz PlayStation signed off on it Xbox hasn't earned that credibility yet yeah and and that's what I was going to ask you too is like they have they're having a Stellar q1 but like i don't think anybody would be paying attention to stellar blade nor rise of the ronin if it wasn't a playstation exclusive mm-hmm. that is 100 think- true if you add or xbox exclusive yeah absolutely once yeah, yeah. a game has an exclusive moniker on it everyone is super hyper critical and they look at it with laser beam eyes right. like you better deliver you better you better do this or you better not, right? Yeah. I mean like Foam because- Stars, Foam Stars was a PlayStation exclusive, right? And then that kind of like you don't really hear I mean, could you imagine if Foam Stars was an Xbox exclusive, right? Like Oh, they wouldn't drop uh, Bleeding Edge. Even though that was like yeah. a twelve person like you know, the passion project thing, right? Foam right. Stars was not a big risk for a reward, but they boy did they just plaster it onto everything when they were talking about xbox not delivering you'd have that 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 oh one. you show me bleeding edge yeah. yeah bleeding edge yeah yeah bleeding yeah. edge flopped and they wouldn't let it go but yeah. yet nobody's talking about foam stars um and <clears throat> you know nova and skeleton they both played it and they had a good time with it really or whatever yeah um but 
It is crazy how it's not being talked about in a shit way. Like it flopped. It's dying, <laughs> if not dead. I don't understand it. So I'm to your point, man. It is kind of odd. Like I would have definitely heard about this flopping somewhere else, especially how they were just painting it everywhere, like everywhere. And, and but I said I still like the game. I'm not gonna lie. It's just it's dying, <clears throat> or yeah. if not dead already. That's just PlayStation not having good multiplayer, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, they they do. They have to get get that. They, I mean, they're good with the single player experiences, but something's going on over there with the multiplayer stuff.